Jedi are being hunted. She was my student. I trained her. Let me be the one to bring her in. Ooh. Hey, welcome to High Table. This is about entertainment from Lord Six, Dr. Killjoy, and the sexy little Sea Train. <laughs> okay, this one's right. This one's about Star Wars. Well, it's gonna. Well, yeah, we're gonna try to keep it light today. Um, there's a, a new Star Wars coming out called The Acolyte, as most Star Wars fans would probably know. It's written by uh, Lamar Headley or whatever Head, Headley, whatever her name yeah, is, which yeah. is uh, Harvey Weinstein's former assistant. Yeah, a woman who has never seen an episode or a movie Star Wars in her life. Now, is this a movie or a series? Yeah, this is, I think this is a series. Oh, oh man. Lord. Do we know how many? Like a so they want to screw you over weekly. Oh, so she created this, and she was given the director's keys to write this story. And, and she's not seen one episode of Star Wars. Never, uh, the, never seen what Star Wars. The reports are is that she has never seen an episode of Star Wars. It should be a big hit. So when she... The, the reports coming out advice. is that when she pitched the story, Kathleen Kennedy cried because she thought it was so good. And here we are. So the Acolyte trailer dropped a couple of weeks ago, and it received mostly negative reviews. Three, three down for every one up. So it had like 70,000 likes and like 240,000 dislikes or something like that. Here we preview this. People are not happy with it. They're not happy with so, anything Star Wars right well, now. Well, no, it's it's not about Star Wars. It's There's no story. I mean, they're, it, wait, wait, they're, they're trying to push be, their woke agenda on people, and now, they're putting it under the guise Is of this Star just going to be a new thing, or is this going to be about Star Wars? No, it's about Jedi, I guess. Oh, okay. And a lot of them. A yeah, lot of them. A lot of them. So is this going back to pre... I believe so. But I don't, I don't know where the, what the timeline is. I don't know where it falls, but I just know that it's just... It's funky and it's pissing people off. And, now, I know there's supposed to be a new Darth Vader thing coming out, but this... I haven't heard of anything about Darth Vader, but I do know that they uh, they had a project called Rogue Squadron that was directed by Patty Jenkins, and she's the one who did Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman, I thought, was pretty good yeah. when it came out. Uh, so she was given the reins to do a Star Wars war movie uh, from the, the from the fighter pilot's point of view. Okay. And then they dropped it, or they stopped it. Because I guess she did some test footage, and she did some testing, and they did not like what they saw. So they, they put a halt to it. Now they've given her the green light again, and that's going to be the next feature in the Star Wars world. And I think it comes out either later this year or next year. That's that's what I've heard on it. So there's a lot of turmoil under the Star Wars banner because nobody knows what the hell direction. So what do you give about three jar bars and what? Jar bars? Whatever I his name. What was that in the jar? Jar Jar Binks? Yeah, Jar Jar Binks. Uh, three out of five Jar Jar, jar Binks. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the Acolyte. It doesn't look terrible, the visuals, but it could be just more of the same. Yeah, but you know? if it's someone who hasn't even seen Star Wars, which is like somebody's never heard of Christianity almost. I mean, it's like... Or Israel. Or Israel. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Free, free just, Palestine. Free Palestine. No, but, um, you know... You got to give it. It's, I'm not it's, it's got to come out so that way you can see it from beginning to end. Yeah, and then you can, de you know, determine so it's gonna if be you on like it. on Paramount or something like that. Or I don't know. It's going to be probably Disney, on Disney, Disney Plus. Disney Plus. I mean, yeah. yeah. So we got that to look forward to, and then you got Rogue Squadron to look. Yeah, forward I wasn't to. comparing Star Wars to Christianity. I'm just saying, you know, about the same amount of people have heard of Christianity as heard of Star Wars, and she's never seen it, and that's like. Yeah, she's never seen it, but yet she pitched pitched a story and got it. I don't know how that happened. To the point where someone cried. So they got absolutely nothing else to write. They got nothing yeah. else to write. Yeah, so, you know, the, is here's still a strike. Duel? Did that writer strike ever end? I I think it did. I mean, because I think it did. I have heard nothing about it. In you know, the the uh, the auto union, the auto workers union, that over overshadowed 
anything that Hollywood was doing at the time. Oh, good. And then when that ended, people were like, oh, wait, there's still those guys. <laughs> I forgot about them. It the writers. Just, that could explain why we got the Alkalite coming out, because not that those writers were any good at what they did anyway. Yeah, a lot of them were just horrible. But They had no ideas about anything. Yeah, they were just rehashing old stuff. Yeah, oh, Ghostbuster Seven, you know. Oh, I liked Ghostbuster. I thought the the Frozen Empire wasn't too bad. You didn't like it? You didn't, did you see it? No. Oh, no, I it wasn't too bad. I couldn't bear to watch it. It was all right. But speaking of rehashing the old stuff, <laughs> oh, is, is he asleep? I don't know. Not either. Maybe he's caught in a. Because I just know. I just know I don't like it. That's. It sucks. Yeah. I like Ghostbusters. Do you like Ghostbusters? I like Ghostbusters. I think they need to hand I need think they need to hand the baton off to the the kids though and All right. not be involved in it anymore. Yeah. That's it for Star Wars. You've never heard of Star Wars, never seen Star Wars, never tasted Star Wars, but yet it's Star Wars. Yeah. Well it's I like Star Wars. I just I hate the direction it's gone. It's not decided for you by an anonymous force. 